Hello everyone, it's me Shanti and you're watching Biology Nowadays. In this video, we will discuss mainly about taxonomy, taxonomic categories and taxonomic hierarchy. So, let's start. The process of classification of living organisms into different taxa based on certain characteristics is called taxonomy. The term taxonomy is derived from the Greek word taxis, which means arrangement, and nomos, which means law. Taxonomy is the science of naming, describing, and classifying organisms and includes all plants, animals, and microorganisms of the world. Now, can you tell me who is called the father of taxonomy? If you remember the answer, type it right now in the comment section below. Okay, let's see more on taxonomy. External and internal structure along with the structure of cell, development process and ecological information of organisms are essential and form the basis of modern taxonomic studies. So we can say characterization, identification, classification and nomenclature are the processes that are basic to taxonomy. As we discussed earlier, during classification, each organism is placed into a category. Since the category is a part of overall taxonomic arrangement, it is called the taxonomic category and all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy. Each category referred to as a unit of classification, in fact represents a rank and is commonly termed as taxon, plural form is taxa. Taxonomical studies of all non-organisms have led to the development of common categories such as kingdom, phylum in case of animals or division in case of plants, class, order, family, genus and species. All organisms including those in the plant and animal kingdoms have species as the lowest category whereas kingdom is the highest category. To place an organism in various categories, the basic requirement is the knowledge of characters of an individual or group of organisms. Now let's learn about each category in detail. First, species. Different kinds of animals, fungi, plants and microorganisms are called different species. As we just saw before, Species is the lowest category in taxonomical hierarchy. A species is defined as a potentially interbreeding group of organisms that can produce viable offspring that themselves can interbreed. Thus, animals of two different species, like a tiger and a lion, cannot interbreed while animals of the same species can. So, species is a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities. One should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. If you take the case of tiger and lion, you can easily find distinctive morphological differences, right? Each genus may have one or more than one specific epithets representing different organisms, but having morphological similarities. Next higher category is genus, plural form is genera. A group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera are grouped under a genus. We can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species. For example, potato and brinjal are two different species. They cannot interbreed to produce a fertile offspring, but both belong to the genus Solanum because of some similarities in leaf arrangement, arrangement of veins in leaves, related vegetative and reproductive structures. So, a genus is a group of species that share similar characteristics while a species is a group of related organisms that can interbreed. Next higher category is family. 
a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species are grouped under family among plants for example three different genera solanum petunia and detura are placed in the family solanaceae otherwise called the nightshade family solanum petunia and detura share some common morphological characteristics to be included in the solanaceae family next higher category is order families with a few similar characters come under same order the similar characters are less in number as compared to different genera included in a family for example plant families like convolvulaceae solanaceae are included in the order polymoniales mainly based on the floral characters next higher category is class orders with similar characteristics in other words related orders come under same class for example order primata comprising monkey gorilla and gibbon and order carnivora that includes animals like tiger cat and dog are placed under the class mammalia these animals are placed under the class mammalia because they are all warm blooded animals which give birth to their young ones next higher category is phylum in case of animals or division in case of plants plural form of phylum is phyla classes with a few similar characteristics come under same phylum or division for example animals belonging to various classes like mammals fishes amphibians reptiles birds etc come under the phylum chordata all these animals are grouped under phylum chordata based on the common features like presence of notochord and dorsal hollow neural system in case of plants classes monocotyledony and dicotyledony are grouped under the division angiospermy they are included in angiospermy because they are all flowering seed plants next is kingdom this is the highest category in taxonomical hierarchy in the case of animals all animals belonging to various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animalia in the classification system of animals on the other hand in the case of plants all plants belonging to various divisions are assigned to the highest category called kingdom plantae in the classification system of plants once again here are the taxonomic categories from species to kingdom these are broad categories you may have already noted that as we go higher from species to kingdom the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing for example plants belonging to same genus share less common characteristics than plants belonging to same species in the same way plants belonging to same family shares less common characters than plants belonging to same genus so we can also say that lower the taxa more are the characteristics that the members within the taxon share i hope it is clear now when you learn this chapter be thorough with the ascending order of the taxa in taxonomical hierarchy that is from species to kingdom and also the point that as we go higher from species to kingdom the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing here is a table with the scientific names of some common plants and animals study this table for a better understanding about various taxa when you feel that you have learned this chapter thoroughly then watch our video on living world mcqs and test whether you got all the important concepts right the link will be given in the description box below and that's all for this video if you find this video helpful hit the like button and share this with your friends thanks for being with me and subscribe to this channel for more biology videos